My style takes a critical look at the human emotions. Uh -huh. How uh, humans, as we are, we react to certain things. And those uh, reactions sometimes shows on our faces. You, you understand? It has a place, a major role on our moods, our feelings. So I take a critical look at the human face and then the, I'll say the figure, not the full figure. I concentrate a lot on the faces. That's, that is the reason why you can see a whole lot of faces around. <laughs> Actually, when I started doing art as a young boy coming up, I don't know what, is, what art is about. I just, I guess, I can just draw. So I don't know what I'm going to get from it until uh, I was drawing and the man came around and he uh, was, it was my father's friend. And they were chatting and the man was like, wow, this is what your son can do. Wow. This actually uh, pays a lot outside in the Western world. That, that was what the man said. So he said, ah, where your core bridge here? <laughs> so I heard that and I was like, wow, then this is not just anything, you know, because um, uh, in those days, when I was young, I know of many artists who are at the roadside and it's like things are not better in a way. So <laughs> I was thinking, ah, is that how I'm also going to end? Is it on the roadside like that? Uh, my painting style is spontaneous realism, where I paint with freedom, with liberty. I'm not uh, uh, restricted by any movement or any principle or rules. So I paint uh, as I'm being led to, or uh, as how I feel to paint. That is how I paint, and my uh, kind of style um, it's a mixture. I would say it's a mixed media. I use modeling paint, uh, the modeling paint and then the acrylic paint. I mix them together to create my textures or the kind of work I want to produce. And it looks tactile in a way when you, you can feel the textures on the paint. And uh, uh, the difference between uh, like uh, what is unique or the unique side of my works is the color scheme, the color hue, uh -huh. the color hue in which I work uh, with. It's different from the normal colors that people use around because I really uh, think deep in my color works before uh, I put it on a canvas. Uh, with Ghana, I've almost been through, <laughs> let's say, uh, 10 regions uh -huh, because of art. Because we had a contract to work with uh, Deft. There's a company called Deft. We did uh, branding on their containers for them across the whole, ten, the whole of uh, ten, the 10 regions. You understand? And it's, it's, it's very uh, awesome. And then apart from that, I would say I've not been outside, but my works are all over. <laughs> my works have traveled. So I would say that is myself because my painting is me in a way. Mm -hmm. So far as I, I have my name on it, I think where the art west goes, I'm also there in a way in spirit. <laughs> uh, so I have a, a whole lot of uh, people outside who used to purchase my work, any work I produce. Uh, it goes there. Um, one of the experiences uh, is when we went to Bolga. Uh -huh. we, we actually have that idea of going there already before this contract. So as we went there, we had the opportunity to tour through 
their lands to capture their sceneries, like the, their landscapes where they have the baobabs and then other, their, their hats, you know, the, those village hats. And they are so beautiful that we capture those moments. And as I'm talking to you now, I have some on my canvas. You understand? And it's, it's an awesome uh, experience. Mm -hmm. And also, when you go to the, this modern, the ultra modern Kejitia market right now, there is a, an art piece there on their, I'll say, uh, on their ceiling. There's a big artwork there that we call it the Kente flag. Uh -huh. I supervised that work <laughs> by grace. I supervised that work. I went there with eight artists and I was their leader. And I looked to it that we put the Dinkra symbols there and it was so massive. And it was so massive. And we work under uh, Emilac company as sub subcontractors. Yes. I see uh, my style being in uh, being exhibited in most of the renowned galleries or the renowned museums. And that is where uh, I hope to see my style in five years. And also, I hope to see my style in uh, uh, this. Uh, Ocean houses, ocean in my work. <laughs> mm, I really love to paint with a bloody glover. Mm, it's one of the uh, renowned artists in Ghana here who owns a gallery called the Artist Alliance. I really love to paint with him, and then and then uh, this professor, Professor. Uh, to the lucky. I really love his kind of style, his style of painting. Uh, those are the people I really love to paint with if I had opportunity. <laughs>